Greetings, students, and welcome to today's video. In this video, we're going to be looking at a duration of time, so how much time transpires between a beginning time and an end time. So we have uh, two problems to look at today, so let's go ahead and jump into those. All right, so here I have two clocks. This is going to be our start time. This is going to be our end time. The first thing I want to do is just figure out what time it is. So here we have an hour hand. It is in between the eight and the nine, so the hour is going to be the the eight, all right? Here, my minute hand is pointing right to the four. So that's five, 10, 15, 20. So this clock is at 820. This is our start time. And let's see where we end at. We end at, it is right here in between the nine and the 10. Now it looks really close to the 10, but it's actually not at the 10 yet. It's in between them, all right? Because this, Right here, this uh, minute hand has not made it. So this is actually going to be nine. And then it's pointing at the 11, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, or five times 11 is 55. So I wanna see how many hours and minutes have transpired between these two, all right? Now, if I go all the way forward one hour, that would be 920. So there's one hour. So if I spin this hand all the way around, back to right here, this hand, the hour hand would now be pointing kind of in this direction, and it would be 920. Now, how many more minutes do I need in order to get to 955? Right? I would need, so this is one hour, I would need another 30 five minutes, okay? And so that means that I would have one hour, 35 minutes. And I can see that just using my clock, right? All right, now let's do this problem. So here, let's start by looking at the clock. The hour hand is in between the 10 and the 11, it means it goes to the lower number. So it's gonna be 10 o'clock. And we have minutes, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So it is 1040 by this clock. Now here, the hour hand is just past the five, all right? So just past the five. So we have five and we have gone five minutes. So zero, five, okay? So now I want to think about how many hours I've gone ahead, okay? So here, I start at 10. I spin the clock around. It's now 11.40. I spin it around again. It is 12.40. I spin it around again. It is now 1.40. I spin it around again. It is 2.40. I spin it around again, it is 3.40. I spin it around again, it is 4.40, all right? And each one of these spinning around is one hour. So here's one hour, one hour, one hour. Okay, from here to here is one hour, one hour, one hour, all right? And now I need to figure out how many minutes I need to get from 40 to 05. So let's go back to this clock. And remember here, 05 is here. So how many minutes would I need to get from here to here? So let's count. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. And so from here to here is 25 minutes. So now let's count all of the hours that we did. We went one hour, two hour, three hour, four hours, five hours, six hours. And then I went an additional 25 minutes, All right? And so this is how you can think of a clock spinning that hand around, giving ourselves an hour in order to figure out the amount of time, the duration between a number like 1040 and 505. All right. That concludes our video for today. I hope you have a great day and enjoy your time working on your independent work. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.